What is going on, you fuzzy little man peaches? All right, so last week, Luma Dream Machine came out and they said, you know what? We want to change everything. We want to go with a whole new look. And we also are going to release this new iOS app. I wanted to give myself a bit of time to really understand the changes and explore, you know, what are some of the cool things about it. But anyway, look, let's go through it now and uh, let's have a look and see what I've been able to generate. All right, so this is what it looks like when you first jump in. New freedoms, ideate, visualize, create videos and share your dreams with the world. All right, so this is actually what the new interface looks like. And you can see here these little rectangles, they're essentially called boards. These are my individual sessions of my content generation. When I go over here on the left and hover over it, it actually gives me the option to look at all of my previous generations. You can also filter image and video as well. So when you click into it, you'll see some options here as well. And I guess this is for brainstorming or inspiration. There's three things here that I can select from. If I go down here, you can see this is the section to enter the prompt. This is the section to enter the actual image. And then on the right here as well, here's when I can actually select image or video and then it's giving me all the different aspect ratios anyway i got chat gpt to give me a bunch of prompts let's enter them and see what they look like so let's press enter and this is sort of the loading screen you can see that the actual image itself is being generated here and i'll just let this play out let's just have a look and see how long this actually takes okay now they're actually popping up and there we go we've got four images of the prompt that I entered. It was a bit of a weird prompt. It was a bustling marketplace set on a floating platform in space. So not bad. I mean, it was very creative. So all right, what I've gone and done now is generated 12 more images that we can have a look on. And the cool thing is, is you can literally just scroll down. But let's have a look at some of them. So what do we have here? We have a phoenix. We can zoom in. Yeah, you know what? I really like this one. Yeah, very cool as well. Let's have a look. What else do we have? This is what I'd say, like, let's guess the year. I reckon this might be 20, 2032. We might start seeing this happen. Yeah, this is kind of cool as well. Wow. It's sort of like a broken glass and you can see different worlds within them. Not bad. This one's kind of cool. What's the prompt? Explore rooms with kaleidoscope reflections. Ooh, I like this. And then, you know why? I wish this was a game. It would be such a trippy game. Now, let me show you guys some of the features and what you can do. So the first thing is over here where it says show more. You just click that and literally it will just generate more of them. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to do that for all of these so we can compare and have a look and see what other things it generates and see what it looks like. Hey, look, you'll see just same prompt, but it will just give you more generations of the same thing which is kind of cool because I really like how fast it was. Yeah, if you just scroll down, look at this. I like that. That's, I really do like how it's very nice to use. And yeah, like it's literally just a click of a button. Like it's some, rather than copying the prompt and reusing it. Like, all right, what else do we have? When we hover over it, we've got modify. Let's click into that. Let's write, make the Phoenix blue. And if I can spell Phoenix correctly and let's press enter. All right, so it's actually made the Phoenix blue. So it's actually followed my instructions very well. And I really like that. What else do we have? We have this option here, which is make video. So let's just click into that. And then obviously you have the first and the final frame there. When you click here, it actually gives you keyframe, modify and reference. And I'll get to reference in just a second. For now, let's click uh one frame and click video and let's see what the videos come out come out as all right so when i generated the video actually two videos were generated so let's click into them we've got this one and can i go left and right on the keyboard yes i can not bad um it appears that they're using the same video generation video generator model as before and another cool thing as well is if i want to i can just keep clicking right to the to the rest of the generations here's another one yep here's another one as well um yep this is another video that i generated we've got another one and let's see how this one does yeah not bad let's have a look at this one yeah I think we're all thinking the exact same thing, especially if you've used other video generation models. Let's just go through all of them. This is nice. 
That's, I like this one. Look at the fluid of the water. I like that. It could still be better, but I like this one. What else do we have? So when we go over here, we have reference. Let's click into that. All right, so say with words or use character or style. So I'm assuming because we've got reference selected, it will reference that elephant and it will generate another image. Let's see what we can do. Let's say something like, all right, make it drink water at a river. Let's see if that works. And here's another cool thing as well. On the left here, if you click that, it will automatically reference it. I just want to see this. I'm going to do at character and I want to see, let's just test it to see if it does change it when you use um, the character prompt. So make it drink water at a river and let's press enter. Okay, so let's go into the one where I didn't use character. Okay, you know what? That worked. I, you know what? Like that literally worked. That's, it's the same elephant. Um, obviously it's not exactly the same, but it's the same style, uh, same idea. I didn't use character and literally it's generated the same character of the elephant at a river drinking water. Now this is the one where I actually did character and ooh, some of these are very nice. Very, very nice. And oh, this one's really cool. Uh, which one looks like the character more? I, you know what? You could argue that they both look just as good. Another cool thing is over here on the left, when you click, see these little tab, when you click into them, you can change these, right? So instead of a surreal scene, I can go a dreamlike landscape and it automatically starts generating. I can change this to infinite chasm, uh, vibrant lights to radiant beams. And this is the thing that I really love. I love that they have automated everything they already know what the model can do they're just automating everything for me and look at this see this they're just changing small bits and this is this is a really cool feature all right now let's have a look at the actual app so it's kind of cool actually to be honest so i mean look you can see there i've got all of my storyboards but what i wanted to show you guys is the new consistent character uh, feature as well so let's not generate a character a random character let's maybe take a photo of ourselves and see what the generations look like so if we go here we go to photos and we want to go here let's try to get my head directly there we go this is kind of awkward and there you go eat your heart out ladies all right so i just select the model it's already using reference so let's just say make him into an attractive prince charming like <laughs> let's just see all right i don't know what do you want me to what do you want me to write <laughs> oh my god <laughs> do, do you know who'd like for, I thought, i'm sorry do you know literally every time i generate myself or like sometimes it come out comes out so horrible like this and i guess this is what i look like but you know this reminds me of you know jafar from aladdin literally it looks like jafar from aladdin oh my god yeah this is literally me <laughs> but yeah if i just click at the top left again let's do more uh make him into a very hungry man at mcdonald's <laughs> i don't know let's just do a few prompts and just go through them all right so let's go with them what was this one make him a very hungry man this is me like literally in my spare time that's literally me that's literally that's what i look like just as i'm about to eat the mcdonald's as well so like not bad like the maccas looks good that's me again i'm like looking up like well, thank you god like thank you what do we got here i made what Mel a wealth a wealth businessman not a wealthy businessman a wealth businessman there we go this is me me in two years <laughs> yeah and this is me what is this tech ceo holding a press conference yeah like i don't know it works like are the results like amazing in comparison to the other stuff that i do but probably not but it still works so what are my final thoughts of uh luma's new design and their ios app now, i want to be very clear that i am a, a big fan of luma i like what they stand for and i like what they're trying to do the video model is not better than runway it's not better than cling and it's not better than minimax however i don't think that that's what they're trying to do i think what they're trying to focus on at the moment is mainly giving you something at the you know in the palm of your hands 
you're just pressing buttons and it's just inspiring you helping you like think of things it's very creative i really like how well the design is on the website and also i really like the app as well not really any issues no errors the storyboard thing is actually quite smart and and i know that there's been different iterations like flux has one runway has one but this is probably the best one because this is exactly how image like content creation should be and video generation be it should be just sessions and that's why i'm sort of glad they've got these storyboards and you can go back and select the one that you were using i am going to give them props i really do like what they've done they're trying to be different do i really think that luma will continue competing with cling runway and uh minimax yes i do I really, I really do think they will continue doing well and they'll keep innovating. And for me, this is a win. Uh, and I just wanted to say shout out to Luma. But that's it for the video, guys. As always, I'll leave you all with some of my favorite community posts and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.